Hey guys and welcome to a Prepper Task Guide Postman Pack Part 1. For this task we're going to need to obtain the letter on the dead messenger's body in Factory. We're going to need to then survive an extract from Factory and then hand over the letter to the therapist. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So here in front of you is a map showing you where you're going to need to go on Factory. So once you're inside Factory, what you're going to want to do is come to the area where it says 1986. Up there is the offices and down here is the little pit of the catacombs. Right here is a tunnel that goes down into that area and you can see this little green chem light. What we're actually going to want to do is head into this little room right here and there is a dead scav right here. Inside the inside of his jacket is the letter and that's what you gotta pick up. Once you picked up the item, if you happen to die on your way out to extract, you do need to come back and collect the item again. Once you've successfully extracted, complete your task with Mr. Prepper and then head over to Therapist and don't forget to hand in the Postman Pat Part 2 with the Therapist. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.